Vowing to fix a slumping economy and make Argentina great again, Javier Millet won over disgruntled voters and went from TV commentator to president-elect. Ben ik te verstaan? And in the Netherlands, Heert Wilders, fiercely anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim, tough border messaging, positioned himself to become the next Dutch prime minister. So is the rise of the far right catching fire? Uh, I think his uh, electoral victory uh, is a, a massive game changer. The pushback against poor economics and mass migration has become a hallmark to populist candidates and may be gaining steam, even if the candidates are labeled extreme or even dangerous. The comparisons to American politics, hard to miss. And I think what happened with Trump was the world was watching and thought, if America, right, this bastion of democracy and freedom, isn't going to tamp down on this guy, well, who is? That Trump parallel, something we asked the Dutch populist Heert Wilders about six years ago when his stock really began to rise. People have called you the Dutch Donald Trump. What do you make of that? Well, I'm the Dutch uh, Geert Wilders. Um, I'm no Donald Trump, um, but um, there might be similarities between the movement. Trump hoping that same sentiment puts him back in the White House, and it seems to be working at the moment. Trump with an eye-popping 50-point lead over his closest Republican rivals. And back overseas in France, the far-right party, often headlined by controversial Marine Le Pen, is polling well above current President Macron's party ahead of next year's elections there. In Washington, I'm Scott Thuman.